trim a matic This program can trim adapter contamination as well as trim your reeds for quality. If you're interested in how this program does its thing, this is the paper that was that uh, talks about this, and I have included this on the website um, for you. Trimomatic has several options summarized here, and the order of these options is what I would suggest the order that you perform these steps in on your sequencing files, on your FASTQ files. The first option is Illumina Clip. This will cut any Illumina adapters that have been specified in a given FASTA sequence from the reads. If you want to specify your own adapter FASTA, you can feel free to make that. And information on making that is in the manual. The second option is Sliding Window. This performs uh, slided, sliding window trimming, so it takes the average quality across a given window, and if the quality falls below a given threshold for that window, it will trim all the, it will trim the read beyond, within that window and beyond. But you can also just go ahead and cut off, since Illumina has uh, poor quality at the very end and the very beginning, of reads, it has these two options leading and trailing, which will cut bases at the start of the read if they fall below a certain quality, or at the end of a read if they fall below a certain quality. If for whatever reason you just want to cut a read to a specified length, you can crop off the end um, given a specified length. Or say you have a read problem, something at the beginning of your read, you can also crop just at the beginning of the read. Um, to whatever specified length. And then uh, another really important setting is this minimum length. And what this does is drop any read that is below a specified length. Depending on your organism, you probably don't want reads that are 10 base pairs long mapping to your genome because they're not going to be very unique. The suggestion for the minimum length is 36 base pairs. This works well in human. You don't want to really go below that when you want to map uniquely in human. And then if you want to convert quality scores, you could use these last two options that can convert between FRED33 and FRED36. I wanted to go a little more in depth into the adapter trimming and the different options used for this. So like I mentioned in the previous slide, Illumina Clip is the option for adapter trimming. And you have to you have to specify these four options within Illumina Clip. First, you want to give it an adapter with the fastest sequence. Like I mentioned before, there is this specific they does the program does come loaded with a, a FASTA for most Illumina applications. However, it does not include any of the indexes. Um, the second is seed matches. You will learn a little bit more about seed matches when um, we cover mapping, but this specifies the maximum mismatch count that will allow a full match, that will still allow a full match of the adapter to be performed. Palindrome um, clip threshold specifies how accurate the match between two adapter ligated reads must be for paired end palindrome read alignment. I'll talk a little bit more about this in a second. As well as simple clip threshold, which specifies how accurate the match between any adapter and sequence must be against the read. As alluded to by the previous slide, Trimomatic trims adapter contamination in two different ways. First is simple trimming. And in this case, each adapter sequence is tested against the reads, and if it is sufficiently accurate match is detected, the read is clipped appropriately at where the adapter is detected. In palindrome trimming, this is, de this is designated for the case where you have read-through of short fragments, so where your fragment length is shorter than the sequencing length. Um, and in this case, you get read-through into a fragment at the other end of your sequence. If this were to ha if it detects this, the forward read is clipped, and then the reverse read is dropped because it contains no new information. You can also trim reads based on quality. If you watch the first video, which talks about quality control in the library, sometimes you can have dips in quality in the middle of your read or towards the end of your read. 
In order to eliminate these reads from your library, you can use quality trimming, such um, the first of which is sliding window. This is kind of neat because it takes uh, across a window size and average. So just because you have drop in quality for a single base pair doesn't mean you go ahead and chop off the end of the read. Instead, you have a window size, so you have to have a consistent drop in quality based on the size of your window size and your quality threshold that, your average, that you want your average to pass. Um, because Illumina has poor sequencing at the beginning and end of the reads, you can specify a quality for trimming the leading base pairs as well as the trailing base pairs. You can also trim on size. Sometimes if you have problems at the very end of the read, uh, when you know, uh, for example, that say you made your libraries for 100 base pair sequencing, but they put it on the sequencer and sequenced 125 base pairs because that's what the sequencer had available, you can actually just chop off, chop off those last 25 base pairs using crop, um, and you just tell it the length of base pairs to keep. In head crop, if you want to chop off the beginning of the read, you tell it the number of base pairs to remove, and you and in minimum length, you tell it the minimum length of reads to be kept, and this is important um, for unique mapping. All right, so to run Trimomatic, there's two different modes. There's single end mode or paired end mode, both of which are summarized here. First, you have to call us a Java program, so you call Java, and then jar, and then you take the path to Trimomatic. And if you're doing single end, you special specify single end, you can indicate the number of threads to be used, and then you must indicate the quality scores being used, whether it's FRED33 or FRED64. This program does not automatically detect. It will assume FRED64 if you don't specify, but in most cases, you're probably working with FRED33 quality, so be sure to indicate which quality scores you're working with. If you want to keep a log of all uh, the reads that were trimmed and how much was kept or how much was trimmed from the beginning and how much was trimmed from the end, you, uh, you will specify a trim log. I don't think it hurts to specify this because then you at least have documentation you could go back to with how this was trimmed in case you trim things different ways. And then you give it, in the case of single end, your input file or paired end, your input forward and your input reverse and then you give it your output files in the same way. Your output for single end or your um, paired output and unpaired output um, and forward and paired and unpaired output in reverse. And then step one, that's where you start with the options I said below, um, I previously alluded to. So these are an example of the quick start settings in their manual. This is what uh, I generally want to run my trimming on unless I have a special need. So uh, you tell it where the jar file is. In this case, it's this is a paired end example because it works for both. Specify FRED33. You give it the input forward and input reverse. You'll notice here that you don't actually have to uh, unzip these files for this program to work on them. So you can keep them in their smaller form. Uh, so you do input forward and input reverse, and then you want to do an output forward paired and an output forward unpaired, and then an output reverse paired and an output reverse unpaired. If you don't want to work, this is a way, so moving forward, if you don't want to work with unpaired reads, you don't have to. You can leave them as a separate file, or you can combine them to your paired reads. Uh, so next is the... Uh, steps to perform. So the first step you're asking it to perform here is Illumina Clip. The program suggests that you do your adapter trimming first. So Illumina Clip, it's give, this is one of the preloaded FASTA files, the TrueSeq paired end FASTA. It's um, two seed mismatches. For palindrome trimming, you want 30 base pairs to match, and then 10 base pairs for simple trimming. Next you have Leading, so if the leading base pairs are below a quality of three, threshold of three, they will be trimmed. If the trailing base pairs are below a quality of threshold of three, they will be trimmed. And then for sliding window trimming, you're averaging across a four window sliding window. If the average quality per base in that four window drops below 15, the, the end of the read will be trimmed. 
And then if the reads fall below a minimum length of 36, they will be excluded. This is very important to go last because you want it to go last after all of your other trimming needs.